for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you complete designing of the shear wall for the three story building by using etap software so initially i will explain you the uh, how to uh, apply the shear wall condition system for the building structure in etap software then after that i will explain you how to design that particular shear wall by using three different methods okay so firstly i will show you the model which i was already done the analysis process and designing process in my previous video so i will open that particular same model for the respected uh, shear wall designing concepts you can follow the previous video for complete modeling analysis and designing of particular structure okay so this is my building model so initially we need to de uh, define the shear wall condition system thickness okay so for that click on define option click on section properties select the wall option here okay so initially it will be consisting of the wall one option here like this so firstly we have to click on this uh, add new data option okay so here i am selecting the shear wall condition system let us consider shear wall i am assuming the thickness of the shear wall will be consisting of approximately uh, let us consider uh, 150 mm otherwise you can consider 230 mm also okay it depends upon your consideration just uh, you will take okay so here we have to select the property name is uh, specified as per the m25 gradle provision system and you have to take the thickness of the shear wall will be consisting of 150 mm thickness so click on okay option directly now we have to select the wall one option click on delete property option click on s option click on okay okay so this is the process of defining the shear wall so after defining the shear wall we need to assign that particular shear wall to the building structure so here i am selecting the elevation which is related to the one option click on apply okay so that it will display only the elevation part which is comes under this particular structure okay so here i am selecting this particular portion for the vertical directions for assigning the shear wall condition system so in the same process you can proceed with all the sides and it depends upon your requirement you can apply the shear wall condition system okay for assigning the shear wall condition system just i am selecting here as draw rectangular floors option here okay so again it will be consisting of the property name here like this which is comes under the shear wall uh, which is of 150 mm thickness okay so here i am selecting this particular first section which is consisting of the rectangular portion again i am selecting the second point here okay so that it will assign the shear wall condition system for the ground again in the same process i am selecting the first point again i am selecting the second point for this portion okay so that it will apply the shear wall condition system for the second portion in the same process we have to select the first portion of this respected building structure uh, just i am selecting here again i am selecting here in the same process we have to apply the shear wall condition system for the last piece also so here i am selecting here first point again i am selecting here now you can see it was assigned with the shear wall condition systems here like this okay so but this respected uh, uh, vertical wall will be considered as slab section only okay so in order to convert that respected slab section to the shear wall condition system we need to assign with the pier as well as the uh, spandrilla section okay so before that we need to give the uh, number of the section for this respected shear wall condition systems okay so for that just i am selecting this all the wall sections go to click on the edit option so here i am selecting the uh, edit shells option so here i am selecting the divide shells option so as per the example just i am taking the number of the uh, shell section will be consisting of three number here again three number here for the respected section if you have a uh, good designing consideration then you can proceed with n number of the section so as per my example just i am taking three and three click on apply option again click on the okay option so that it will assign the uh, peers with uh, sorry with uh, three by three section for the each floor okay so here i am providing some opening for the shear wall condition system as per my requirement for the window and ventilation purpose for the building structures okay otherwise you can provide the shear wall condition system for the opening which is provided as per your requirement of the building openings okay so here i am deleting this particular portion for providing the opening of the shear wall so now we have to assign the fixed supports at the base for the shear wall condition system so for that just i am selecting this two node point section go to assign joint point section click on restraints option select the fixed support click on apply option 
click on ok option now we have to assign the respected shear wall condition system with the peer as well as the spandrilla so basically the peer label will be comes under this corner section for the building structure again the corner section for the right hand side section again the spandrilla section will be comes under this particular uh, center section okay so in order to apply with the peer label we need to define that particular section go to define option for that just i'm selecting here click on define option so here i am selecting this particular uh, peer label option so it will be consisting of the peer label i was already taken which is of six numbers so first number second number third number fourth number fifth number sixth number seventh number eighth number so we need some more uh, peer label for the consideration just i am selecting p6 option here click on add again i am selecting p7 section here click on add again i am selecting p8 section here click on add close option so firstly we have to apply the peer label for the building structure so for that we have to select that particular uh, peer section just i am selecting this uh, left hand side section three label click on assign option so here we have to select the shell sections okay so here we have to select the peer label option here so here i am selecting the label number one which is of p1 section click on apply option so that it will apply the p1 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 section for the left again in the same process i am selecting this right hand side portion again i am selecting p2 section click on apply option so that it will apply the p2 label for the respected consideration in the same procedure we have to apply the remaining peer labels for the respected considerations now we can see here all the peer labels are applied for the building structure here then after that we have to click on ok option now we have to apply the spandrilla section for the building structure go to click on the uh, define option here select the spandrilla labels option it will be consisting of the five label but it is sufficient with four labels itself click on delete name option select the s1 section this time selecting this one so select this particular structure so click on this particular uh, spandrilla click on assign so select the uh, shell Shares. so here i am selecting this spandrilla label just i am selecting s1 section here click on apply option so that it will apply the spandrilla one for this section again in the same process just i am selecting the second one click on the s2 section click on apply so that it will apply the second label again in the same process just i am selecting the spandrilla label 3 click on apply option so that it will apply the spandrilla label again i am selecting s4 section which is comes under this spandrilla section click on apply option again it will apply the spandrilla label for the particular structure as per the consideration then after that we have to click on ok option so after that we have to do the analysis process again for this respected structure go to run analysis option here so that it will do the uh, analysis process for the building structure with the considerations of the shear wall condition system now we can see here due to the presence of the shear wall condition system the deflection will be occur for the building structure here like this so now we have to design the shear wall condition system for the building structural case okay so for the designing of the shear wall condition system we have the three methods are there which is related to the uh, simple uh, cnp section simple cnc section which is comes under this respective property of uh, compression and tension section again it will be consisting of uniform reinforcement section again it will be consisting of general reinforcement section firstly i will explain you the procedure which is related to the simple cnc uh, t section okay so for that firstly we have to select the all the peers as well as the uh, spandrilla sections go to select option select by property label option here just i'm selecting prior label just i'm selecting p1 uh, p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 p8 select option here so that it will select the peers again we have to select the labels option here select the labels which is comes under the spandrilla also so here i'm selecting spandrilla s1 s2 s3 option click on select option close option so now we have to assign that particular uh, peer as well as the spandrilla with the help of the simple cnc section go to design option so select the shear wall condition firstly we have to assign the peer section with c simple c simplified cnt section so that it will assign the simple cnc section for the respected shear wall condition system then after that we have to design go to design for that click on shear wall design option so firstly we have to click on the view revised peer overrides now you can see in the view revised peer overrides the peer section type will be selected as simple tnc section why because the first method will be consisting of compression as well as the tension or uh, section considerations of the shear wall that's why i was selected here as simplified uh, simplified tnc section okay click on okay option then after that we have to check the sum of the design results which is comes under this particular uh, view revised preferences so, so we have to check the uh, preferences here 
click on the preferences option now we can see it was selected with is 456 2000 code and you have to select the rebar section which is comes under the uh, hysd bars of 415 415 grid okay so now we can see it was selected here rest of the parameters we need to keep it as same click on ok option okay so that it will apply the uh, peer section for the consideration again we have to click on the design option shear wall condition system then after that we have to directly click on the start designing check for the respected peer section for the shear wall so that it will do the designing process so then after that it will display the reinforcement values for the respected considerations of the peer sections here like this so this is the 109 13 again it will be consisting of some of the reinforcement values here like this select any one of the portion here and right click on it so that it will display the report which is consisting of the complete uh, uh, shear wall designing section as per the peer designing section for the consideration. This is the peer ID and this is the uh, compression uh, FC value, FCK value for the respected consideration. It will be consisting of the flexure design reinforcement details and compression reinforcement details and shear designing reinforcement details for the consideration. Okay. So this is the complete process of uh, designing of simplified CNC section type shear wall condition system. Now I will explain you the procedure which is related to the uniform reinforcement section. So for that again we have to click on the select option, select labels option, select the peers labels option, this time selecting all the labels, click on select, again we have to close this particular section, select option, select uh, labels option, select the spandilla, this time selecting S1 to S4, so again we have to click on the designing option, click on the shear wall section, assign the peer section with the uniform reinforcement section so now we can see it will open the material property for the respected uniform reinforcement section here like this firstly we have to select the material type is m25 grade concrete and distribution reinforcement bar you can select as per your consideration so just i am selecting the spacing of this particular bar just i am uh, assuming here as 150 mm instead of this uh, 250 mm okay so again i am selecting clear cover will be of 25 and end cover bar will be of 8 mm so here we have to design the reinforcement design details so for that just i am selecting here as reinforcement to be designed section click on ok option so that it will select this particular options so now we have to design as per the reinforcement section again we have to select the property just i am selecting uh, label uh, spear labels option let us consider here select again i am selecting select option select labels option spandrilla label s1 to s4 just i am selecting here select option close option go to assign option again we have to oh, sorry go to design option here again we have to click on this shear wall design so again we have to select the view revised overrides for the spear okay now we can see it was assigned with the uniform reinforcing bar section okay so you can click on this ok option again i am selecting design option shear wall design click on the o oh, view revise preferences now you can see it was selected with is456 itself click on ok option here again we have to click on the design option for the shear wall click on design shear wall design click on the start designing check for the respected shear wall consideration so that it will design the shear wall reinforcement details as per the reinforcement considerations okay now we can see it will be consisting of 500 500 for the respected consideration here like this you can click on this particular section and you can right click on it so that it will display the peer designing re results as per the uh, shear wall reinforcement section this is a complete reinforcement details and designing results which is comes under this peer id which is comes under the p3 section okay now we have to see the reinforcement details for the shear wall considerations so for that go to uh, click on the display option so click on the design option so so for that click on the design option shear wall design option so click on the uh, display design information section here and you can click on any one of this section just i'm selecting uh, peer reinforcement uh, longitudinal reinforcement value click on apply so that it will apply the uh, longitudinal reinforcement value for the respected consideration here like this again you can click on the d by c ratio click on apply option so that it will display the d by c ratio for the different types of the shear wall so now we have to keep in mind the value of the d by c ratio for the every shear wall consideration panel will be less than one okay so that is the standard point we have to keep in mind so as per our consideration the value will be less than one okay so again i am selecting the uh, shear reinforcement section click on apply so that it will apply the shear reinforcement section for the structure in the same process we can click on the identify if you have any kind of the failure for this respective structure click on apply option okay so that it will display if any kind of the failures are occur for the respective shear wall consideration as per our assumption now you can see there is no failure for the respective shear wall consideration as per the designing option okay so this is the second method which is comes under the reinforcement method okay now i will explain you the third method 
for the respected designing of the shear wall go to select option further again we have to select the labels which is comes under the peer labels option just i'm selecting here click on select option close option again i'm selecting labels which is comes under the uh, spandrel labels option just i'm selecting s2 s3 s4 click on select close option go to uh, select the design option shear wall consideration select the assignment of the uh, shear wall with the help of the general reinforcement section before assigning with the general reinforcement section we need to define the general pier section so click on the general pier section option here and we have to click on the add pier section with the help of the pier 1 as per the m25 grade concrete with existing wall pier labels okay so it will be consisting of the pier labels and uh, story number here like this you can add that particular uh, pier label as per your consideration just i'm selecting uh, pier label uh, 7 which is existed the fourth story click on ok again i'm selecting this particular uh, reinforcement value will be open in section designer option so you can click on any one of the option uh, if you want to change the reinforcement value for the particular section just i'm keeping as constant value here click on ok option so that it will add the peer one label section in the same process you can add the n number of the peers with the considerations of the section now i was added all the peer section for the consideration so click on ok option so now we have to click on the uh, design option shear wall design so go to click on the assignment with the general reinforcement section so you can select the bottom section as well as the top section reinforcement to be designed click on ok option okay then after that we have to select this a uh, designing option again again we have to click on shear wall design select the peer section uh just i'm selecting design option shear wall design uh, peer overrides option so now we can see it was selected with simple t and c section but instead of this we need to select the uh, overwrite as per the considerations of the reinforcing bars go to click on design shear wall design so select this uh, assignment method with the help of the general reinforcement section so click on the uh, ok option so that it will assign the spear label go to design option shear, uh, shear wall design so now we can see it was changed here peer type is general reinforcing section here so click on ok option here directly so you can click on ok directly click on design option shear wall design again we have to click on the uh, revised preferences as per the is 456 2000 click on ok now we have to do the designing go to design shear wall design again click on the start design check so that it will do the designing check for the respected consideration as per the peer label now you can see this is a reinforcement diagram you can click on here and you can right click on it here and it will display the all the reinforcement des design results which is included in this particular section okay so again in the same process you can see that reinforcement details which is comes under this uh, shear wall design as per the uh, display information so which is comes under this uh, uh, d by c ratio click on apply so that it will display the d by c ratio for the respected consideration in the same process reinforcement longitudinal reinforcement section click on apply so that it will display the longitudinal reinforcement section for this now we have to identify the failures if you have any anyone click on apply option here so that it will apply if you have any kind of the identify which is related to the failures now you can see for the respected shear wall consideration there is no failures occur for the building structure okay so that the model which is done with shear wall consideration is safe okay so this is a complete process of designing of shear wall consideration as per the three methods which is related to the simplified cnc section uniform reinforcement section and general reinforcing section okay so this is the complete process if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you